Good morning. Good morning. Welcome to Keep Trekking. Today we're just going to do a very, very local walk, and I mean seriously local. Yeah, this is literally on our doorstep. Uh, we're going to do just a walk around Stocksbridge and Deep, really, and try and point out a few places and the mean it is that we have in our local wee town yes. here in South Yorkshire. Behind me is Royd Infant School on Car Road at Deepka. Can't quite find a date when it opened, but by the looks of the buildings, it looks like it's either 60s or 70s. Yeah. The old school at Deepka is further down Car Road, which we're going to show you shortly. It was built in 1856. Yeah. Uh, so obviously when that closed, this one opened, that was too big, uh, too small for the capacity of children that was now in the area. So they had to shut it, and plus it was getting old as well and retired. So I'm going to show you around Stocksbridge and Deepka and some sites and places of interest. Mm, absolutely. Hey, right. we're just walking past St Margaret's, St Margaret's Avenue here at Deepka now. Further on is Royd Infant uh, Junior School. That was opened around about the same time as uh, Royd Infant. Um, the church decided to open the school to separate it from the council-run schools of Stocksbridge. Um, so there you go. A little bit of history about that one. We'll catch you further down Deepka. Right. We've just come on to uh, Woodroyd Road uh, and this lovely house at the back of us, I'm not going to show you too much of it, it used no. to be a playgroup when I was a child, uh, a lot younger should I say. Uh, I remember going there as a kid, just, uh, just a playgroup and that, but now the playgroup's attached to Royd Infant School. Yeah. Behind me, well, should, let's walk through. is the Fox Glen Park. Spent many a time in here when I was a kid and as a... Uh... <laughs> Yorkville. I say I didn't, but uh, yeah. <laughs> I remember on Fridays, about 17, 16, 17, and on Fridays uh, everyone used to gather here and get slightly abbreviated. <laughs> what we used to do back then, I don't know. But it's changed quite a lot since I was a young man. That used to be a double slide. I always remember that banking being steeper for some reason. There used to be a rocking horse there. These swings have always been here, as I remember. Round about in the middle, there used to be a roundabout, but they've extended the grass. There used to be a roundabout there, and now they've got a slip, a strip, uh, what do you call it, slip slide or something? Zip wire. Zip wire across the back, that was never there, and neither was the swing over there, it used to be completely different, but yeah, and that's Fox Glen in the background, which I've already done a video on, so let's go further down Car Road and get to Bottom of Deepka. Just down here is the old, what I think it used to be the old brickworks here at Deepka. And what used to stand just down here somewhere, used to be a massive chimney. Yeah. Um, it used to, it used to stand very high and they blow it up sometime in the 90s I believe. But uh, yeah, the old brickworks here at Deepka, I'm sure it used to be brickworks. If anybody knows any information about that, drop us a comment, please. Used to be cranes and stuff in it, wasn't it? Yeah, they did. They used to be cranes and all sorts in there. But I don't remember that chimney, and it used to be massive, and it used to have a date on it. Yeah, it I can't remember what date, eighteen something, I believe. Yeah. But it was big. It was. And they blew it up in the nineties. Used to be quite imposing. Just there, we have Greenway flat. No disrespect to anybody that lives in them, but uh, it's a bit of a nice one. They don't look very nice, do we? No. So 
It's the old school at Deepka that was built in 1856. Behind me, out at the bottom, which we're going to show you later after this bullish building site, <coughs> is St John's Church. We shall get to that soon. That's the money. So you get to the bottom of deep uh, used to have two pubs unfortunately only one's open now the one that you see across is the Royal Oak that was opened in the 1830s by a Benjamin Caldwell and after that it was in for several generations of the Caldwell family but unfortunately it's now closed the building at the side of it the old toll house uh, which was built in I don't know when it was built but it was closed in the 1875 King of Miller pub. Don't know when it will built. No sites telling us. Uh, I should imagine it's built around about the same time. If anybody's got any information of this place, drop us a comment. But what I do know is that room there, which is now the pool room, I believe, used to be a little cottage. And my mum was born in there. Yeah. Really good. To find out when it was built, we will, we will try and perfect it on. Oh. St. John's Church here at Deep Kirk. Built in 1877, or this current church was built in 1877. I believe there used to be a Masonic house on the site before that. But now, because of the closure of Stocksbridge Main Church, St. Matthias, which we're going to come to shortly, this is now the main church in the parish. Um, it's an Anglican church, obviously. And it's linked to the St John's Squirrel. But uh, apart from that, I remember them taking all the fuels out, and now it's just chairs, I believe, just normal chairs. Yeah. Thought going to churches right off, and left they have to. Yeah. <laughs> and then, then it's either weddings or funerals. Or to admire the uh, architect. That's why I see. It. His architecture and this amazing architecture. We're still lucky to have a police station here. I'll show you that quickly. Police station here at the uh, Yeah, so let's move on to our stops bridge. Man across the road there. This is the old doctor's surgery. This is just be a little house. Very, very small. Yes, it was. Here. Yeah. Used to be the old chemist. The doctor, the doctor reminds me, remember, my dad taking me to the doctor's for something, I can't remember what. And then him having to dash off because he was a fireman. <laughs> um, the uncle having to come down and uh, look after her. Yeah, that was quite a few years ago. A fair few years ago. <laughs> but alas, we have this now. Deep to Pharmacy, Primary Health Centre. A far better cry from what you've just seen yes. in that wee building. We have better, better, better facilities and everything yeah, than that wee house. It did have a dentist in it as well. It used to have last, last five minutes. No, it used to have. Yeah. But, uh, I, right, it didn't last very long, that. Just down in that bottom door there, that's where dentist used to be. Now, I've mentioned this one before, this building. Wesleyan Chapel. It used to be an old Methodist chapel. 
here at the acre. But now it's flat, as most of them are. That way takes you down to the railway and into the new housing estate at Fox Valley. And one last look at the newish medical centre here at the acre. We'll crack on. Lovely view of the Clock Tower Gardens here in Stocksbridge. We shall go and visit that very shortly. We're heading that way into the town centre. Just having a walk through the gardens, staying off the road, walking yes. through for a change, not been through here for a long time. No, I haven't. They're absolutely beautiful. Um, they live beautifully in summer. I ain't been in here for a long, long time. A couple of wee benches to sit on, which is nice to see and nicely preserved. Just seen a couple of council workers doing some work in here, so it's nice that they're still keeping it up. The tip top for the centenary Clock Tower Gardens here yeah. at Stocksbridge. Yes, uh, I don't know if it's still closed off from yesterday at the top. Uh, they've got it all taped off the road due to danger of falling trees, apparently. That's what they were doing in yeah. the top corner. Second yeah. trees. Just approaching Stocksbridge Town Centre. Um, <laughs> that's a very dubious thing to say. Yes. It is a town. Have been since 1936, the open of the town hall here in Stocksbridge. He got his town status in 1936, as deep as a village, Stocksbridge is a town, but yeah. it's all one community really. Um, so let's go and have a look at this <laughs> town centre. It's the bottom of Annie Hill, and that's the old. Squirrel in Stocksbridge, at bottom of Nanny Hill, here in Stocksbridge, and looks like uh, whoever lives there likes to collect Morrison's vans. It does, yeah. <laughs> and just above that is the old scout up for the uh, yeah. fish. The little lane and the around there. Yeah, the, the old scout up, the top of that little lane. But I once went years ago. Yes, I did years ago. I was part of the first Stocksbridge. First one uh, yellow neckers. Yeah. We're now the de de consecrated church of St. Matthias. Something sounds like something's like cross what are you doing? At uh, Stocksbridge. Um, it was built by Samuel Fox, but unfortunately he died two years before its completion. We never got to see it built, uh, finished. But he built it for the people of Stocksbridge and his workforce so they could still keep a spiritual mind as they used to do back in the day. But unfortunately, it's no longer open, it's closed. It closed a few years ago. Yeah. 
It's called the New Inn, and some people, as myself, love to call it an eye club. <laughs> because they stumbled after me a few times, very early hours in the morning. Yeah. This building here. It wasn't very big inside. No, it was only small. It was the size of an house, really. But uh, you used to get quite a few in, and I don't know, the police used to come sometimes, knocking <laughs> on the door, back door. Um, not to shut it down, but just to see if everyone was okay. And I think it was fine to see who was actually in there, yeah. to see who weren't on the streets. To be honest, <laughs> there we go. Another view of St. Matthias Church. Yep. Now, up for the big redevelopment, I'm not sure who's going to buy that or if anybody actually has. Now, there was, there was a, a builder who had bought it. Uh, uh, yeah, if you were in the party around the back, I don't know what's happened since, so that was just after Christmas. So, um, it was going to redevelop it into flats, I believe. Uh, we'll see. Now, mentioning that the town, it, it's been a town since 1936, when it got its town hall, and it got its town status. Not a very big town hall in Stockton, but it really doesn't need to be. It's mainly for housing, you know. Uh, but this is town hall in Stockton, get on. Stockton's town hall. Across the road is the new uh, road into Fox Valley Shopping Centre, but it used to be the road into Steelworks. They renamed it Fox Valley Way. But it didn't used to be called that, I think it used to be called Hunshelf Lane or Sunshelf Point. Now at the back of me is now the little car, little, and the little car park. Where we're standing used to be a Ford garage. And where the little house stands in the car park used to be the old market here in Stocksbridge. And it was a pretty good market. It was a very good market, yeah. It was a crappy market. And round about here, where this wee wall is, is where the old toilet block <laughs> used to stand. <laughs> Isn't it? Yeah. <clears throat> so, that's the beginning of Stocksbury, really. Let's move on. Rajasthan Spice. Now, that used to be a pub of frequented choice. <laughs> yeah. Coaching horses. Used to be called Coaching Horses. Yes. And that was a uh, quite of a Pub of a frequented choice, like I said. It certainly got a reputation. It certainly did. It was a good pub, though. Pub. I don't know. It had its times. Across the road is the old Miners Welfare Centre. Uh, built in 1902, but it now belongs to Steps and a dancing school. Uh, so, yeah, now belongs to Steps, but the old Miners Welfare. Little car park, like I was saying, it shows to be the old markets. Where I'm looking now, which is Bengal Spice, that used to be the main entrance to the old Palace Theatre here at Stocksbridge. I remember it being a bingo hall years ago right. before they completely shut it. Um, up here is now on the back of the road. Just the police Yeah, back of there. Let me just swim it around. Top of there, he said he's now in a place. Hold on. Zoom in. Up there, you can see where the doors are. That used to be the old fire station. It's now the old palace mall. Inside here, you've got a array of little shops. Gonna walk through. We've got pretty little gifts, all sorts of weed shops. There's a cafe in there. I believe there's a music shop that I need to go in, I'm not been in yet. You can walk through, it's just little shops, looking for a shop being done up. And then a music shop which I need to go in at some point. Yeah, yeah. And then back out into the snow. 
like he's trying to snow. Back out to where the institute is and a little in the distance. The kind gentleman in the music shop has just let me play on a guitar for about five minutes, so I'm quite happy with that. Right, tour of Stocksbridge. There's a lot of independent shops. Like I said, old town centre. I'm being a bit loose when I said town centre. As you'll probably find out in a minute. Yes, it's snowing, which it had forecast it. Now along here, just be a whole array of shops in the past. Yes. But um, there was two supermarkets. Yeah. Um, God knows what other. Uh, where, where the well, a lot of these shops are now closed down. <coughs> uh, nice shops should always be, but a lot of these shops are now closed down, or most of them are hairdressers. This oh, one's a gymnasium. Used this to used be. to be Lipton's, yeah, it did. And then a further across there used to be a bank, and then bargain booths. No different shops, there's mobility shop. And the Fox Valley Bikes, that used to be one shop which used to be a news agent. It's for GT News, yeah, I used to work there on my paper round when I was still at school. Uh, like I say, I don't use the word town centre uh, loosely. Um, probably been a card shop across the road. I'm being very posh today, I've been out this. <laughs> Cross road. Used to be a shoe shop. Yeah. And I got my first very first pair of Doc Martins from that shop. And, and a pair of loafers. Was it just Clark's? I don't think it were Clark's. I think oh. it were independent. Oh. Really. But I, I, it could have been. Still reckons it could have been Clark's. But happy days cards. Yeah. 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 What is now the coffee apple, used to be a bank, is the TSB. Yes, it did. At one time a day. And the church next to it used to be co op. That building there used to be the big co op. That ain't up. Ha ha ha! to work, Colin, you can't work any of that. See you later. <laughs> but, um, yeah, Crossroad used to be. The old co-op building, which uh, was really big at one point, yeah, and then at back in the this building here, well, that ended up being the co-op, and then that went into the what was it called? Factory what shop, and now I think it's just empty. Yeah. At the moment, it's the uh, distribution uh, sorting out for the. Uh, Oh, we never got. It's very quiet, Arthur. They really. don't speak sorry. up. They don't speak up again. The, oh. the old meals across the road. That used to be parking some parking kitchen. Alright, but now, yeah, 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 yeah it was. Yeah, far across your bushes, which is obviously there. Or was. Well, yeah, it's, I think it's still part of Crossroads. Yeah, it's just the shops moved down to Fox Valley. That most of these shops have been out in Fox Valley. Luckily, we still have a library, which is a, bit, a rarity these days. I know they've built a brand new one in, in Barnsley Town Centre. We still have one here. We've got a Citizens Advice Centre, which is underneath the library. And then we oh. have... Apparently all this is in for a facelift. Alright, oh, so it's all in for a facelift apparently. That's Stocksbridge Library here. I wonder what that was then. And then obviously you've got a few charity shops, you've got Bridge, which is local, and then you've got St. Luke. It's snowing quite heavily now. Yep. And then you have, I love these information boards about the place of Stocksbridge. <coughs> and you've got other little independent shops 
busy fingers, garden of florists. And then you've got a pub, another pub of a frequented choice. <coughs> I think I mentioned it in one of my previous videos. The Friendship Inn. We're now standing in the court car park here at Stocksbridge, which used to be the college. It did. I touched, yeah. Um, I had a few lessons down here from school. Yeah, I had a few lessons down here. Uh, engineering, I think, yeah. was and the typing was another. Typing oh, and all typing. that, going back here. Eh? Off computers now, but it was all proper typewriters. Got two distinctions and a passing that way, though. It's probably the only thing I ever passed in my life apart from the driving test. Um, yeah, so this is the old side to the old college buildings here at Stocksbridge. Yeah. Uh, I think it was knocked down in the 90s. It must have been. Yeah, it was. Yeah. Um, and then they all, the co-op moved into the new premises, which is at the back of this. Yes, and the post office is in there. Yeah, the post yeah. office moved from one of, the old, one of the old charity shops used to be. Well, it is now. Which used to be another, it used to be United. Mules, I think, yes. something like that. Yes. Well, well, that was a paper paper boy. Boy. He was a paper boy. Now, the, old, the dentist here in Stocksbridge and the old doctor's surgery used to be completely two different places. But now it's all one building and it's only been open there, uh, what, a couple of years? Yeah. It might be maybe longer than that. Might be just over a few years, but not much longer than that. So we're going to show you that in this lovely winter weather that we're having today. The new Valley Medical Centre. You've got the Valley Physiotherapy Centre at the bottom there, clinic. And you've got Lloyd's Pharmacy underneath. And the main entrance to the medical centre and the dentist is just up here. And I remember it being, coming to the dentist. I think it used to be school. Like the children's dentist or something when I was a kid. The, the, older dent, the, the older people was further over. I'm sure this used to be like for NHS patients and stuff, which I think still is obviously. That's the entrance just through here to the Valley Medical Centre here in Stocksbridge. Sunny Stocksbridge. As per usual. <laughs> The Salvation Army Church and Community Centre here on Edward Street. There's all yeah. that for you. It's not changed much, has it, over the years? No, I don't think that's ever changed much no. over the years, to be honest. I've been in here a couple of times uh, in the past. But what I want to really talk about is under this street here. Let's zoom in for you. The flats. Now, Years and years and years ago, I believe it has been an, old, an electric cinema that used to stand over in that, that area. And in them flats is reputedly a few ghosts. Ooh. A few ghosts. Mm. Uh, one of a young child. And apparently, a young girl was chucked over the balcony. And obviously died or fell over, depending on the inquest. But uh, yeah, that's just a little bit of like that place. That's a very steep hill. <laughs> on this site, there is now a car park for the, um, well, what do you call it, the surgery. Yeah. Used to stand old Samuel Fox's house. On here. Yeah, I didn't know that. Yep, old Sammy Fox's house used to stand on this this site. And they're obviously workhouses, probably for management. The old steelworks yep. in the distance. And old Victoria cars, motors, they look. Clock Tower building here at Stocksbridge. Really the symbol of Stocksbridge to be honest, it has become the symbol of the football club that we're going to go to very soon. Uh, built for the war, for the First World War really. Yeah. They wanted a, a symbol, something that would mean something and look 
the part rather than just having a normal senator. So they decided on this clock tower, which I think is absolutely beautiful. It's unique. You don't get them like this. I've never seen anything like this for a yeah, yeah. war memorial, to be fair. Built for after the First World War for the locals of Stocksbridge that obviously never returned and it also commemorates the Second World War as well and the dead that have come back from various, con various conflicts after that. So we'll have a look and walk across to it and then let's have a look to get across this busy road. There you go, I'll we'll spin it round. Stop with Memorial Clock. A few names of locals. There is quite a few. There is. Mm. More on that side. And then obviously some above. 1939 to 1945. 39 to 45. And then the inscription it says in the middle. There you go. What a beautiful, beautiful building. And a great memorial. Yeah. The stuff's just fallen here, though. Now we're going to have a walk up to what I said. It's a football ground and the local football team here in Stocksbridge. Yep. They're all been orchard trees there. Now it's just all been taken up. Don't know what they're doing. What's they're going to build their house? Nanny Hill to Bocking Hill. One long hill. <laughs> That's a nice sight to see in winter. <coughs> nice view of the uh, hills across there. On shelf bank and the tower and on Liberty Steel building at the bottom. Yeah, still going just just going. Just approaching Stocksbridge Park Steels Football Club, the local non-league club in these parts. Number one non-league football club. In South Yorkshire. That's what I'm going to say anyway. Have a quick look looking. You're not playing at home today, the other way. I'll show you a quick look at the ground. Not a bad ground for this uh, this level. I've seen worse. Eco Power Stadium, it's now called. There was a local stadium before that. But we know it as Brackenmoor. Always will be Brackenmoor to us. 
there's been quite a few uh, players come from this place it's made it big time quite a few and it's none more famous I think than a Leicester City player a Leicester City striker called I'll spin it around for you Got a stand named after him. There you go. A one, Mr. Jamie Vardy. Yep. He got released by Sheffield Wednesday when he was a kid. Came to play here. Uh, saw him play quite a lot, to be honest. When he used to come here a few times. And then he went to Halifax Town. And then obviously Fleetwood and then moved on to Leicester so he's had quite an illustrious career to be really fair good luck to the lad I once made a statement years ago when we had a discussion and I held my hands up and stand corrected we once said do you think Jamie Vardy could ever make it in top flight in Premier League and that's this is a good player and he's a really, really good player. But no, I don't think he would. He's proved me wrong. And I admit, the lad's proved me wrong. And good luck to him. Because he's, uh, he's really proved me wrong. And he was the top scorer for the season, wasn't he? In the Premier League. I can't argue with that. So good luck. And he's done really well. And this was his own club. Stocksbridge Park Steels is something very proud of. So... There's quite a few more things to see in Stocksbridge and Deepcare. Well, fortunately, we're not going to be able to see them all today. Um, we've covered the main parts, apart from the Stocksbridge High School and the Leisure Centre. We'll do that on another day. Just going to come up to some houses up here that used to be a pub. Now I used to go in that pub quite regular, it used to be called the Miner's Arms or the locals used to call it the Rag. For nice houses, uh, we'll just get to that and then uh, I think that'll be it, that'll be it, because yeah. we're wet and cold, fingers are freezing and uh, well, I think we've covered most of it, so we'll just get to these houses. I just thought, just thinking, just above, I better not forget this um, for certain people that may be watching. Above the football ground, there's also a cricket pitch for the Stocksbridge Old Cricket Club. I think that's where they play, yeah. it, Stocksbridge yeah. Old Cricket Club. So it's a cricket pitch just above the ground where the stand was, the Jamie Fardy stand. There's a cricket pitch there as well, and just at the back of me is their little clubhouse, as you call it. So I better mention the cricket as well as the football because, you know, we've also got a rugby team. But we're not going right, that's right at the top. Um, and they're doing quite well, I believe, I'm not so sure. Where these houses are, used to be where the car park used to be, for the old pub. And the pub, as you can probably tell in a second, there's still got where the sign used to be outside. There, look. Let me just zoom out for you, if I can. There. And that used to be the Miner's Arms pub. And we used to have some good times in there. Quite a few good times in that pub. But like I say, it's a private house. Now, so I'm going to get to this corner. It's where these houses are. And that used to be the pub. So. It's called the rag. So we got to the top of Bracken Moor and Brumhead Lane and Corporate Lane. So we're going to finish this video here. Yeah. Um, so thank you for watching. Yeah, thanks for watching. Please like and should subscribe and share on all media sites. And keep safe. And keep safe. And if you are travelling in this weather, please be safe. Yep. Uh, if I can see. I need window wipers on my glasses. So, thank you. Keep trekking.
Jay out. Check on.